So, here we are on day seven of my Corona diary. Uh, this time last week I was uh, in my school club. I run four after school clubs each week. And I was about to come home from that club feeling a bit under the weather and decided to have a bath and uh, have this huge fever come and knock me off my feet. That was exactly a week ago. Um, according to government advice, I'm now on day seven of self-isolation and you can see I'm hearing and feeling much better than I was when first I started doing these recordings. But while I've slowly, or not so slowly, recovered, the rest of the world has entirely changed. No one a week ago could have imagined what the world looks like now with um, people who love each other, uh, trying to keep their distance from one another, um, shops gutted of most items you would want to buy, public transport systems closed down, bars and clubs and other businesses closed down, people being criticised if they do choose to en masse or go and say sit in a park or too close to each other. These are measures that no one would have ever contemplated for modern London a couple of weeks ago. Uh, as the government says, draconian measures, but perhaps it's what's needed right now. And um, unlike my usual pirate self, I'm actually keeping to the guidelines for the safety of all concerned, even people I don't know. If we stay at home now, we uh, may be able to be free sooner rather than later. That's my way of thinking. This is also my first day of working on my home news magazine which is run and owned by the same organisation who are my landlords in my property. The magazine is a housing magazine and for the first time I've sat at home working on it. Um, here I am, here's my little desk. You can see, writing various articles, but a lot of these articles are now going to be entirely out of date. We'll see, these ones all look good, but then suddenly you'll see very quickly, you see all those red lines there, that was advertising a job with a uh, district light rail, they were going to do lots of events in London, certainly not going to do that now. Um, here's another whole event, this is going to be Hexagon Resident Poetry Club, that's now not happening. There's a whole um, article on different things you could come to as a resident. We might give you some funding. Not able to do that so much right now. So there's an um, article on Hexagon being no place for hate crimes. That is still relevant. So you can see there's an awful lot of... An, ooh, that went in close, didn't it? Sorry about that. There's an awful lot of changes I'm here are having to do to the magazine. The whole world is going through a lot of changes at the moment and uh, I wish you well with all of it. I'll log in to uh, my YouTube sessions again soon to say hi to you all. Right now I'm working from home remotely with Hexagon Housing Association after doing a spot of archery in my lunch break. Day number seven, I'm very much alive and kicking. People stay safe, self-isolate. I think that's a good idea in the current situation and we'll all get through this much sooner. Much love.